Connor Benson is the defending cross-country conference champion, but his fastest time gets beat by an even better number, 3.44. That's his grade point average. UT Tyler, creating champions with student athletes. Welcome to the UT Tyler Coaches Show. I'm Danny Elser, along with men's basketball coach Jamin Copeland. Unbeaten here at home so far this season. Your latest win was against Letourneau. Kind of a lopsided win against one of your big rivals. Talk about that. Yeah, it was a good win for us. I thought we really, really played hard in the first half, competed. And that was probably our best 20 minutes of basketball in the first half, defensively especially. Now in the second half, we didn't uh, our intensity level wasn't quite there, but I, I love the way we competed in the first half. Tell me about your player that barks. <laughs> Tell us all about him. He, he's actually a captain of ours, Dion. Which is Dion? Dion Luke. Dion uh, Luke. His nickname is Pudge. Uh, when he was little, he was a little bit of a pudgier kid, uh, so that's his nickname. But he's just a phenomenal kid. He's actually going to be a student assistant for me next year. Um, you know, when, when, um, when I recruited him, a buddy of mine was his college coach at Clarendon College. And I know his high school coach, Coach Evans, really well as well at pa Amarillo Paladero. And they both said, you know, um, you're going to see him. You're not going to want to take him. You're going to see him play. You're not going to want to take him. He's not going to play the first few games. By the end of the year, he'll start for you. And I was like, and I, I really trust those guys. And, and they just said by how hard he plays, his intensity, his passion, the intangibles he brings. And he can really, really guard as well. Um, and last year, didn't play him to start the year. Uh, ends up starting for us this year. Didn't play him to start the year. Ends up starting for us. But that's just a tribute to him and um, and all the intangibles he brings. How about Demarcus Metcalf, Conference Player of the Week again? Yeah. Talk about him. Yeah, Demarcus is a great kid. He's a unique talent just because his length, his athleticism, and his skill set. Not many players have all three. Um, and he's just you know. Um, like all our guys, really good kid, works extremely hard. He's kind of the, the silent assassin. He doesn't ever say much. He's pretty laid back, but, um, you know, when uh, between the lines, he's a killer. Between the lines, between semesters, if you will, between years, during the holiday break, you reached a milestone. First time ever the men's program has beaten a top 25 team. Talk about that. Yeah, it was a big, big win. You know, anytime you make history, it's a big win for your program. More importantly for us, it was a big win because they had beat us in our opener for the year. You know, we opened the season at their place. Um, and uh, this really- was down at Seguin. At, down in Seguin yeah. at Texas Lutheran, yep. And in a really close game, um, down to the stretch, we had a foul at the end, so it kind of got out of hand at the end. We lost by double digits, but anytime you get redemption, it's a good win. And we wanted, more than them being a top 25 team, we wanted payback. And it's the same thing last night versus Laterno. They had they had gotten us at their place, and as a competitor, you want that challenge again to see if you can even the score. Coach Copeland, six games here so far this season, and six victories, unbeaten at home here at the Harrington Patriot Center. What's your secret? You know, it's just familiar. It's home. You got to protect your home court, and um, kind of like that Under Armour slogan, you know, protect your house. And that's kind of our our motto. Let's let's protect this thing. <laughs> Uh, you're also on the cover of a magazine here in East Texas, Catholic East Texas, you and your family. On the uh, uh, beautiful article in here, talk about not just being a basketball family, but a family of faith. Absolutely. You know, that's, that's um, in essence, that, that's the core of who we are. And, um, you know, I'm passionate. I love my job. But, but more than anything, all, all that can pass. Um, most important to, to my wife and I is our, is our faith. And hopefully we can hand that down to our children as well. Just amazing stuff. Now you've got a tough string coming up for most of the rest of this month. You're going to be on the road. Five straight road games. Does the conference hate you? <laughs> Five straight road games. How do you manage that? Yeah, it's a monster. But um, you know, we'll see what we're made of. You know, went on the road's hard. Um, you're going into unfamiliar territory. Um, you know, shooting wise, it's not your home gym where you shoot at every day. You, uh, your fans aren't there. Um, you're, you're in hotels. You're you're eating out, you're, you're, all your routines are, are gone. So it is, it's a challenge. But what we want to focus on is what carries, and that's defense, rebounding, competing. If we can have those things that carry, um, I like our chances. Coach Copeland, thank you for spending time with us. More on the Coaches Show when we come back. Nikki Gordon's goal is to graduate with a degree in kinesiology. Here's another one of her goals. Reach your goals at UT Tyler, creating champions with student athletes. Back with the UT Tyler Coaches Show, and I'm here with uh, Kendra Hassel, uh, unbeaten at home so far this season. You had a tough one against Letourneau, playing a rival here in Tyler. 
uh, Tuesday, Monday night, talk about never having to take a breath in that game. That was close the whole way. It was. We knew they were going to come out ready to play. Um, we overheard them talking after our last game at their place, uh, going into the locker room saying, we'll get them next time. And so that was kind of something we talked about. We knew they were going to battle. They are a great matchup for us in the way that they play, this, their style of play. And uh, they're a very strong team. So it was intense the entire game, but um, I was happy to see that we pulled it out. Very physical bunch, the Yellow Jackets. And they come in here, and you got off to a big lead, but then they come roaring back, and the rest of the way is just punch, counter punch. Mm -hmm. As a coach, when the other team goes on a run, you call timeout tr just generally. What are some of the things you're trying to tell your team to settle them down, get them back focused? Right. We talk a lot about the fact that basketball is a game of runs and momentum, and you have to figure out a way to respond to their momentum to shut it down. And as a coach, you know, pretty much all you can do is call a timeout to refocus, but our players are doing a great job of stepping up and hitting the open shot to kill the momentum of the other team. And they did that last night. I think uh, Letourneau got up four or six on us, and we came down and hit a wide open three, and that just sort of sucks the life out of that. Uh, momentum that they had gained and, and our players they never seem to lose their poise they just keep going hard and get big stops when we need them and hit shots when we need them. Alex Kogner talk about her talk about someone who's hitting big shots talk about Alex. Alex did a great job last night um, they were really keying in on Michelle who had 37 points against them in the first matchup and um, she did a lot of that off of ball screen drives to the rim and when they tried to shut her down they used two people to do it and that left Alex wide open at the top of the key and uh, she was shot ready and she hit three big threes in the fourth quarter that sure made did. such a huge difference. Sure did and kind of put the game away and you were talking about Michelle, Michelle Obach, conference player of the week three times. Well, Coach, we've only been playing like six weeks. And she's been conference player of the week in the East Division three different times. My goodness, talk about her. Right. She's just a consistent player for us. And I, I'm really glad to see that translate onto the court because she's the one that's consistently in the gym on her own. She's consistent in practice. Her effort never seems to waver in, in her energy and intensity and her competitiveness. And so uh, when you see a player like that able to translate that into games, it, it's, it's really fun to watch. Now you've got five straight road games. They're not gonna, they're not gonna be, you know, every other day like the NBA, but still for the rest of most of this month, you're gonna be on the bus. How do you prepare for that? It's difficult, but we also talk to our team about controlling the controllables and we have no control over our schedule. And so we're just going to focus on one game at a time and what we need to do to prepare. And um, yes, the rims will be a little different. The backdrop will be different. There'll be different crowds and all of that, but we can always control our energy and our effort. And if we, if we keep those two things up, we'll be in pretty good shape. Seven of the next eight are on the road. You see, you were looking at only five in a row. <laughs> right. Hey, but still, as a former player and now as a coach, you just take the next game, I would imagine. Absolutely. That's our focus. And, um, you know, this is the time of year where they're not missing class, so it's actually a decent time to travel. Um, we get to spend a lot of time together. And, yes, we will focus on the next game, which is Concordia. Um, it will be nice to be back at home in February, though, I will say that. <laughs> it seems like so long, so long from now. Actually, right. you do have a game late in January right. back here, and then you'll, be, you'll finish the schedule in February with a whole bunch of home games, so that'll be good. Mm -hmm. What about playing here at home, unbeaten at home? How about Right, that? you know, you always want to protect your house. This is where you're comfortable, where your fans are, and where you're used to the rims and all of that. And so it is important because every game is a battle. And I was talking to somebody earlier that we're being challenged every night. People are ready to play us. They're excited to play against us. And so um, we're going to see that day after day. And so when you're on your home floor where the in your own friendly confines, you really have to protect your court. And you've made history so far this season in the top 10 for the first time ever for the UT Tiger women's basketball program. So you should expect to have the target every year. Their bowl game, if you if this was a football team right now, you're basically their season. Right. We we do talk about that as well. That you know everybody wants to beat us, and um, even if they're on a three-game losing streak, if they win against us that very next game, it's like they're right back in it. They get all the momentum back uh, for their season, and so uh, we have to be ready to play our best basketball every time we step on the floor. You have a basketball family, but you also, of course, have your own family. You had taken the UT Tiger team out to the Big Country and won two games in Abilene, where you were a star at Harden Simmons. 
So since you beat everybody back home, they still let you back home for Christmas to visit relatives? Uh, yeah, but they kicked me back out. They sent me back to Tyler after a brief period. But yeah, no, it was good. I w was able to spend a few days back in my hometown of Colorado City. And uh, I was definitely watching some video while I was there and all of that. But, <laughs> but they still allow me to show up in West Texas. That's your Christmas gift under the tree, another video player for you to keep up with right. competition. Kendra Hassel, thank you very much for, for the season you've had so far. The season continued good success. That's it for the Coaches Show this week. I'm Danny Elsner. Thank you for watching us, and be sure to always follow the Patriots. Leandro Sid Fernandez wants to be an engineer. Right now, he's trying to engineer his next goal. Reach your goals at UT Tyler. Creating champions with student-athletes.